Jim here with another short Algo Do tutorial. In this scene, which I've obviously already created, I have three gears, and these two gears, circular gears, can be directly constructed from the menu. But this gear, the linear gear, cannot be directly constructed from the gear menu. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made that gear using some of the features in Algodoo. Uh, first of all, let me get the push-pull tool here, and I'll show you how this works. As I turn the top gear, notice the rotary motion of the top two gears is converted into the linear motion of the bottom gear. This is called a rack and pinion mechanism, and it's useful in automobiles. Uh, for the steering mechanism. So I'll stop the simulation here and I'll get a new scene and let me show you how I made that gear. So here's a clean scene. I'm going to start with a box tool and let me do that again. I drop my mouse, I'll delete that, get the box tool, want to make a nice box. I'm going to double click on that box to open the menu. And in the Geometry Action menu, notice there's a selection called Gearify. Watch what happens when I click that. Wow! And so it has then made gears around that box. Well, I only want the top portion, so I'm going to use a box tool to create another box. I'm going to double click on that. Go to the Combined Shape menus, and I'll cut that section. from the bottom of the gear. Then I'm going to create another short little box and get the move tool. I'm going to then place it there, double click, go to geometry uh, shapes, combine shapes, use the cut menu again, and I've cut that ragged edge. I've cut it so I need to select it and then delete it. I'll select the box, go over to this side, double click again, get the Combined Shapes menu, select Cut, move the box, and select that little piece there. It's gone. Get rid of the box and run the simulation, and there you have it. I've constructed that linear gear, and it's really that simple. So, as you continue to work in Algodoo, remember, have fun.